Hey you guys, here with another Android video. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool lock screen uh, replacement app called Cover. Um, it's in beta, but it's totally free and you could download it from the Play Store. Um, what it is, it's a, it's a lock screen that sh get, shows you the apps that you frequently use on this side right here and like you can see uh it will learn the more you use the phone the more it's going to learn the apps that you are frequently using and it will show you them right here uh you can also swipe up and you can still go through your prior um prior apps that you have used very very nice uh another thing you could do here you just um, go like that and it will automatically unlock or you could, for example, on this, for if I want to open the Gmail app, I'll just go ahead and select that like that. And look at that. It automatically opens the Gmail app. And it opens it very, very smooth. I like the way it opens it. Uh, here, Flipboard. Voila. Just like that. Very cool. Uh, also, here in the lock screen, it also remembers and knows when where you are. For example, I'm at home, so it will shows me this wallpaper and it tells me right there, home. Uh, if I tap right there and I'm at work, it will automatically switch to uh, a different wallpaper. Like you see right there, it says work. And it will show me the apps over here that are more uh, relevant to your work. For example, at this time, it's showing me the calendar, um, share, uh, Ever Evernote, my phone, my Dropbox, and my email. Uh, if I go in the car, when the when the lock screen detects that your your phone is moving in the car, uh, it will automatically change. Like you see right there, change your wallpaper to this very nice wallpaper, and it will also show you relevant apps like your your maps your pandora or google music but of course when you're using this in your car or at work it will also remember the apps that you use at work at your car and out and about for example out and about right here out when you're walking and hiking whatever you're doing it will also switch to a different wallpaper it will also show you relevant apps to your out and about. Um, over here, you can also change the wallpapers. You don't have to use uh, what are those wallpapers right there. Like you see, it has the home, day, at night, it automatically switches wallpaper and to this one. Um, at work, in the car, out and about. But over here, you can still select your favorite wallpaper from your galleries or from your wallpaper app, whatever you want to use. So keep that in mind. You can still use your own wallpapers. Um, also, the way it learns where you are at work or at, at home is going here to settings. When you first set this up, it will automatically ask you if you want to put your home address, your work address. What I did was I, I put my L, for home, I put El Paso and I put my zip code. That's it. Instead of being more accurate, that way when I'm getting near my home, it will automatically change to home. Uh, same thing I did with work. Uh, work, I put um, El Paso, Texas and my zip code when I'm at work, uh, which is not bad. I, I'd rather do it like that than being more and more accurate. That way for me, it'll, it'll, it'll be changed already when I get there. So that's very cool. Over here, you could um, change the size of the of the of the strip of the apps uh left or right um this is for the multitasking because this also has a, a multitasking feature when you swipe down when you're already unlocked and you swipe down you can see the apps that are open you could go swap right there or i could go here like you see this is the app in the play store or I could go to my email. Like you see, very, very, very easily it switches between apps. That's very cool. And it swap, it swatches, it switches from up here, up here in the corner, which, which is very nice. It doesn't interfere with your lock screen at all. So that's very good. I like that. It has this feature. That's very cool. I like that feature. So good to have there. Uh, that's cool. And that's it. Uh, let's go ahead back here to the home screen, to the lock screen over here. Switch back to home. Uh, one tip I want to give you guys if you are, for example, this is the Galaxy Note 3, or if you have any Galaxy, uh, make sure you go to, for example, lock, um, device. Make sure you go to the lock screen. 
make sure you, where you select what kind of um, lock screen you have you want to have swipe signature pattern I normally use swipe so I chose none that way that way the the default lock screen will never pop up uh, just in case it, it tries to because sometimes when you replace sometimes when you replace the lock screen on some phones it will automatically sometimes it gets annoying when you open it up it shows you the old um, um, lock screen I don't like that so but here since I've been using this lock screen it has been working very very awesome very nice and I like it, it looks very nice very elegant and it's working very beautiful for being a beta so honestly if this was a paid app I would definitely pay for it because it, it looks beautiful and this is the lock screen that I'm gonna use from now on until I get tired of it so guys that's it Thanks for watching. This was a look at Cover, which is in beta for your Android devices. Till next time, guys.